the iceberg. Up to 10 other clean energy companies have received funding from the government, and of the five that report earnings, two have lost money two years in a row. So is the government spending our money wisely? Here to debate the issue, Myron Ebel, the De Director of Energy and Global Warming Policy at the Competitive Enterprise Institute, and Reed Detchen is the Executive Director of the Energy Future Coalition. Welcome to you both. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys, I want you to react, first of all, to something the president said recently about industrial policy. Here's the president. We expect our commitment to clean energy to lead to more than 800,000 jobs by 2012. All right, so that's a whole lot of jobs. Myron, I want to start with you. Do you A, do you believe it, and B, is it a policy that makes sense? Uh, well, certainly the federal government can create jobs by throwing taxpayer dollars into creating jobs, but it doesn't show what the total economic effect is. And in this case, I think what you're going to see is a net loss of jobs because what the government is subsidizing is forms of energy that are going to raise our energy prices, higher electric rates, That's higher gasoline news. prices. No, and if we have less money in our pocket because we've got higher utility bills, we're going to be spending less, less money on other things, and that means fewer people are going to have jobs in things like uh, restaurants, travel, uh, all, right. all, all the things that we, we so spend our money I, I on that will never be going to energy. I get the impression that you were not pro this policy. Read now to you. Do you agree with what the president said? Jerry, if you think about how we're going to succeed in this country economically, we've got to make something. And we know that clean energy jobs are the future. Uh, you look at where the price of oil is going to go over, over the next 10, 20 years. We've got to be prepared with alternatives. We've got to invest in electric vehicles and renewable energy like solar and wind. All right. Uh, Myron, to get back to you for a second, you know, I'm looking at some of these companies and how they perform over time, and I'm shocked that the government would even pick them. They seem like big-time losers to me. Is the government typically very good at picking winners in any industry? No, and these subsidies go back to the 1970s in many cases, and we have one failed generation of companies after another uh, that that collect these these taxpayer yeah. dollars. Well, this let's, is let's this get... is this is seldom a good investment. Give me an example, though, of some failed industries that the government has come in and supported. You want me to do that? I thought that was Myron's question. No, look, uh, the government Either of you. for uh, look from the beginning of uh, American history, uh, the government has been deeply involved in working with the private sector. Whether you're talking about railroads, aerospace, telecom, Reed, the internet, that was the 1880s. every industry, every major industry that this country has railroads ever developed, railroads were the 1880s. Has been in That's a with the long government. darn time ago. I mean, well, Myron, the internet when you was look at this over time, have we lost money in some industries that we've tried to back? Have some been a flop? We would not have the aerospace industry if it weren't for the government. We would not have the telecom industry if it weren't for the government. The, 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 this, when you're starting a new industry with new technology, you have to have some help. Uh, otherwise, we're just going to be buying all these products from China. You buy that, Myron? I, I, no. Uh, look, uh, China is building one to two new coal-fired power plants a week. They're building in, uh, 10 or 12 new nuclear plants a year. Uh, they're, they've got this kind of window dressing that we're, oh yes, we're building solar panels. But the fact is that the reason China is becoming the manufacturing hub of the world uh, is not just that they have low labor costs, it's also that they have lower energy prices than we do. We have, uh, we're installing a lot of solar panels and windmills to raise our electric prices, and in fact these solar panels are being built in countries that rely on coal-fired power because it's so much cheaper. <laughs> so we're going, to have, we're going to have all this green energy and we're going to be too poor to build anything because we, we, we won't be able to compete with the countries that have cheap energy. Reed, what do you make of that? I, I mean, it's, it's just like it seems like it bites you in the butt. Not only do the companies fail, but they're ri raising prices on the people who need to have low prices. I wouldn't want to have Myron on my venture capital investment team. You know, you have to invest in new technologies and bring down the costs so that they're going to be competitive with the conventional fuels. Otherwise, you're just condemning yourself to the status quo. I think that the point of investing now 
as has been shown in Germany and Japan, right. is that you bring down these costs very dramatically over time. You create jobs, 300,000 new jobs in Germany because of their solar investments. And you're creating an industry that is going to sustain this country's manufacturing well, base. Well, I, I think that's, uh, in, uh, in you know, that's I, debatable. Myron, jump I, in here I, quickly. We're I, about to go. I think, I think, I think Reed is way behind here on, on the news. Uh, Spain has had to drastically cut its solar and wind subsidies because they can't afford them. Germany is talking about the same thing. So is Britain. China is relying on the old technology, coal-fired power, because it's cheaper. The future is not in higher priced. It's not pricing people out of jobs and pricing consumers out of products. It's trying to put them into jobs and make them All right. able to buy We're products. We're going to have to so, leave it there. Rita and Myron, <laughs> Thank thanks you. for your help today. Great conversation, interesting stuff. You bet. All right. As the government continues.